find the derivative of a quotient, such as f of x equals g of x over h of x, the quotient rule must be used. But the quotient rule can be a little confusing. The quotient rule states that the derivative of a fraction of the form f of x equals g of x over h of x is h of x times the derivative of g of x minus g of x times the derivative of h of x all over h of x squared. In this video, I will present an easy rhyming shortcut to remember the quotient rule. In this rhyming shortcut way to remember the quotient rule, I'm going to describe the numerator as the high part of the fraction, the part that's above, the high part of the fraction. And I'll call the derivative of the numerator d high. I'm going to refer to the denominator of the fraction as the low part of the fraction and the derivative of the denominator as d low. The numerator is the high part. The derivative of the numerator is d high. The denominator is the low part. The derivative of the denominator is d low. Using those names, I will describe the derivative of a quotient, the derivative of f of x, as low d high minus high d low all over the square of what's below. Low d high minus high d low all over the square of what's below. Low is h in our fraction g over h. d high is the derivative of g in the fraction g over h minus high d low. High is g, d low is the derivative of h all over the square of what's below. That refers to the fact that when you differentiate a quotient in the derivative, the denominator is squared. Again, the derivative of a quotient when you refer to the numerator as the high part and the denominator as the low part is low d high minus high d low all over the square of what's below. When you say this rhyme correctly, the last word in the first line and the last word in the second line will rhyme. Let's try an example using this rhyming shortcut. Let's find the derivative of f of x equals 2x plus 3 over 4x minus 5 using the quotient rule low d high minus high d low all over the square of what's below. When using this rhyme, I'm referring to the numerator as high and the denominator as the low part of the fraction. The derivative of f of x equals low d high low d high will be the denominator, the low part of the fraction, 4x minus 5. d high is the derivative of the numerator. The derivative of 2x plus 3 is 2 minus high d low, the high part, 2x plus 3 unchanged. d low, the derivative of the denominator is simply 4, all over the square of what's below. This refers to the fact that when differentiating a quotient, the denominator of the derivative is the square of the original denominator, the square of 4x minus 5 in this case. This is the derivative. It is low d high minus high d low all over the square of what's below. To complete this derivative, let's do a little bit of simplifying. In the numerator, I'll distribute 2 times the quantity of 4x minus 5 and write that as 8x minus 10. And I'll also distribute not only 4, but also the negative to get negative 8x minus 12. And then combine the like terms in the numerator to find that 8x minus 8x is 0 and negative 10 minus 12 is negative 22. The derivative of f of x is negative 22 over 4x minus 5 squared. I found this by considering the numerator of the original fraction, the high part, the denominator of the original fraction, the low part, and differentiating using the quotient rule low d high minus high d low all over the square of what's below.